This is probably going to be an unusually short episode of Head Cannon Fodder because I'm not talking about a full film, just a scene. A fantastic scene that I have a theory about. The Witches is one of the best kids' films of the early 90s. It's based on a classic book, it's dark as hell, is mostly exceptionally well cast, and the makeup is top notch. It says a lot that one of the few things that Roald Dahl approved of in an adaptation of his work was Angelica Houston as the Grand High Witch. Just her. He fucking hated the rest of the film. And it says even more that this film is basically why she was later cast as Morticia Adams. Anyway, this video isn't anything to do with the Grand High Witch. It just felt weird to do a video about the witches and not mention her because holy fuck, that is one of the greatest creations of film history. But no, what I'm here to talk about is poor Erica. <laughs> The little girl in Luke's grandmother's story. She was one of Luke's grandmother's friends and is the reason for her lifelong hatred for witches. One day in Norway, after being sent out for milk, Erica vanished. Time passed and the search was eventually called off. And one day her father noticed her in a painting in their house, staring sadly out from a farmhouse. There, as if it always had been there, was Erica locked in the painting. Every day she was in a different position, frozen in a moment of time in her farmhouse. Never seen moving, always a solid part of the painting. Over the years she grew up, got old, and one day she vanished. You mean she died? Who knows? It's such a beautifully creative and creepy idea. Much better than the remake's equivalent, where a little girl is turned into a chicken by the true evil power of dodgy CGI. Anyway, what exactly was Erica's experience from her point of view? When she's first seen, she was staring out, sadly, so I I think she was conscious. But other times, she was working on the farm as though she was just part of the painting. So how do I square that circle? Do I have a theory? Indeed I do. This is based on watching the sequence and some thought. I don't have any evidence because the film doesn't provide much. Which I'm glad about. Not knowing gives the scene its chill. I think Erica spent her days in a farmhouse. Perhaps real, perhaps ultra-stylized and made of paint, like in What Dreams May Come. She had no awareness of who she was, and she acted her role, first as a girl living on the farm, then as a farmer herself, never being able to leave, but not really wanting to, not even knowing the possibility exists. Content, and in a dream. Not Erica. Not really. But every morning, when the first person enters the room and comes into sight of the painting, she freezes, and becomes aware. Aware of who she is, of what she's lost, and that she's trapped. And more than that, she finally notices the picture frame in front of the farmhouse, and beyond it, the real world. When she's working, the frame is there, but like a flatlander cannot perceive the third dimension, she just can't perceive it. But when she freezes and her mind is all her own, it's all she can perceive. She awakens from her dream to find a reality much worse than any nightmare. All she can do is watch her family inches from her, but a world away. But if I'm right, why was she looking out sadly the first day she was spotted? Simple, the spell realised that the family hadn't yet seen her. It knew that she hadn't yet been noticed. So for extra cruelty, it gave her her own mind all the time until they did. So when they saw her in the painting, she'd be looking out and they'd realise it was her. The painting isn't just designed to torture her, it's to torture the rest of the family too. And perhaps sometimes the painting gives her her mind back for the day, just to rub it in. This would explain the other time we saw her looking out. Anyway, that's that, my take on one of the best sections of one of the best early 90s kids films. If you've not seen it, or have only seen the new version, then do yourself a favour and check it out. Yeah,